Welcome back. In uh, the previous videos, we saw what machine learning is, and we looked at different ways in which we can approach machine learning problems. Uh, for example, supervised learning, reinforcement learning, unsupervised learning. In this part, I would like to tell you a little bit more about the course itself and what we're going to see, how we're going to see it, and why are we going to see it in that specific way. So uh, to, to start, I, I just want to mention how we're going to be uh, approaching the different material that, that, this, that we're going to see. The title of this course is Applied Machine Learning, and it has two parts, Applied and Machine Learning. It's a machine learning course in the sense that we're going to see a broad range of tools from different subfields of machine learning, and we're going to see the core algorithms from each area of machine learning. And as a result, we're going to uh, see and uh, you, you, will, you will learn um, a general toolkit that will be really broad, really general, and will be applicable to a really wide range of problems. So there are some courses that tend to focus either on, uh, on one subfield, for example, on deep learning only. In uh, this course, the idea is to, uh, we're going to see deep learning, but we're also going to see many other kinds of algorithms that are widely used, really important, and really central to machine learning. Then the other part of this course is the applied part. We will emphasize applications a lot, and we will not just define what the algorithms are, but we're also going to show how they work, either by implementing them or applying them uh, in exercises or examples. And I'm going to give you a few examples later on for how this might work. So why, why this particular approach? So one really practical reason is that uh, applying machine learning is really useful, uh, it's a skill that's really important, it's really valued, and the reason it's valued is because machine learning can have a lot of impact in different practical domains. So uh, this is a very practical reason. Um, I guess a more, uh, well, a different reason is that there's often a gap between defining the algorithm and applying it. You may know how to write the algorithm on a piece of paper, but getting it to work in practice is a different skill. and Understanding both is really important, and covering this gap is something that we're going to try to do here. And uh, finally, uh, a more pedagogical reason is that um, uh, is that in order to understand how a particular algorithm works, the best way to do that is often to implement the algorithm, or at least to study its implementation. And so by focusing on applications, we can also better understand how these algorithms work. Now, what are some of the things that we're going to see? The first thing we're going to see is a wide range of algorithms, again, from different subfields of ML, and these will be the most important algorithms that typically we need to know. And we're going to define what they are using, uh, using standard notation, using mathematical language. Then we're also going to see how to implement these algorithms from scratch, uh, well, either from scratch or using machine learning libraries and how these can be applied to problems in various domains, such as uh, computer vision, language, medical analysis, etc. Uh, and then another uh, aspect that's going to be specific to this course that is often not covered in uh, standard machine learning courses is how to approach machine learning problems and how to uh, solve machine learning problems in practice. So for example, you may apply a certain algorithm like a deep neural network to a problem, but then once you have a first implementation, it's often not obvious how to what to do next. Do you try to uh, change the internals of the algorithm? Do you try a different algorithm? Do you try to get more data? Do you try to do something else? Um, there's, a, there's a practical problem-solving approach that's needed in order to deploy these algorithms in practice, and that's something that we also will look at in this course. Throughout this, um, this course, we're going to be using a lot of standard machine learning packages. The, these packages all, are all uh, based on the Python programming language, and uh, a few of them, well, the most important ones are going to be um, scikit-learn, which is a library that implements a lot of very popular and standard core 
machine learning algorithms. Uh, we will also be using deep learning libraries such as uh, TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch, um, and all of these libraries are built on top of core uh, linear algebra modules, linear algebra libraries, uh, NumPy, and Pandas is more of a data processing library. A lot of our work will involve these libraries as well. And uh, being able to see how these algorithms are implemented using these libraries is something that's going to be really valuable, I think. One really interesting part of this course, which I'm personally really excited about, is the idea of having execu executable course materials. You have seen a few examples of this in, uh, in the earlier uh, slides. And the idea is that all the materials that I'm going to be presenting through these slides, these are actually executable notebooks. So there's, I'm going to be showing you code that will run directly in the slides, and it's actually running in my browser here on my computer. We're going to be using this code to demonstrate different concepts in machine learning. Um, so we will show the concept using um, mathematical notation, and then you will see how to either implement it from scratch or how to use it with an, uh, via an existing library. And all the code that you see in these slides or uh, in the materials that I'm going to be sharing with you, you can uh, download this code to your computer and you can run this, uh, you can run everything locally and you can reproduce all the results and all the figures that I'm going, that I'm going to be showing uh, in slides or in other materials. Just to give you a better sense of, uh, of what this means, let's look at one, let's look at one example. Um, so this is here, uh, this is an example of a cell. And this cell contains Python code. So here I'm just importing a few standard libraries, NumPy, uh, Matplotlib, Scikit-learn. And I can execute this slide in, I can execute this cell as part of my slides. And now this code just ran uh, in my browser as I was recording this video. So to give you uh, to give you a sense of how this might be used, let's look at another example. Uh, or uh, uh, as a follow-up to this example, I can use these libraries that I just loaded to load a data set. So here I am using the scikit-learn uh, datasets module to learn a data uh, to load a data set of digits. And here I'm using a bit of Python to display four digits on the screen. So this is a data, this is a, a, a toy data set that contains uh, eight by eight pixel images of handwritten digits. And here I, I just showed you, um, I just showed you four examples, four digits from this data set. We're going to, um, well, here's a way in which these, uh, in which I can, in which we can use executable slides to demonstrate how a machine learning algorithm would work. So, in these slides, I'm now going to train a machine learning algorithm live. So here I am, uh, I am importing uh, a neural network classifier, and I am going to train it via this line of code uh, to recognize these digits and to classify them by their label. I am going to execute this slide now. And this, of course, this is a small toy data set. So in the one second that just passed, the, this code executed and uh, I just trained this machine learning model on my laptop. And now if I go down, I can display these results. So I'm just executing this code now. And for these four random samples from the data set, the model has generated live in my browser predictions. And so here it's saying this is a nine, this is a four. These are kind of hard to distinguish, but this one it's saying it's a six. This one I think it's, it's an eight. That's unclear, maybe it's a nine. These are very low resolution and very toy uh, images. But what you see here is a way of demonstrating live how an algorithm, how a machine learning algorithm could be imported and used. And I have just used it uh, live to classify this data set. So this is one of the really exciting things about this course that I hope you will uh, find useful.